So in this example, we want to solve each of these equations for y. And then once we've done that, we're going to determine whether the equation that we have actually defines y as a function of x. And what does it mean as y as a function of x? Well, that means that there is only one value for y. So for each x value, there's only one value for y. So let's go ahead and try this, and then we can interpret what that means. So if I want to get y all by itself, I need to subtract 2x from both sides. And I'm going to get y equals minus 2 plus 6. So the question is, is, is this, does y a function of x? And in this case, the answer is yes, because for each value of x, there's only one value for y. So this one is a yes. Now what about over here? Well, if I want to get y by itself, I'm going to have to subtract x squared. So I'm going to get y squared equals 1 minus x squared. And I take the square root of both sides. Remember, you take the square root, you take the plus and the minus. So then y equals plus or minus the square root of 1 minus x squared. Well, when I look at this one, I know that there's not just going to be one value of x for each value of y. If you're not sure, I recommend that you draw a t-table. So let's say that if I did x and y, and let's just pick 0 because it's usually easy. If I pick 0 here, I'm going to get plus or minus 1. Right there it tells you that 0 goes to plus 1 and 0 goes to minus 1, so then this is not a function.